So this is what the finished teddy bear arm looks like. And the, um, the arm is a really good way. Let's come a little closer here. The arm is a really good way of swatching. Um, most people don't like doing swatches, but swatches are great because you learn so much um, while doing a swatch. And so I highly recommend it. And the, the arm is a, a, a small unit in the teddy bears, but it's really worthwhile to do it first of all because that way you're going to get lots of information about your yarn. When I was swatching with this yarn I discovered that um, I love this yarn, it's hand spun, but it, uh, it was just a little bit, it was too thin and I learned that by swatching rather than starting on you know the largest piece. So anyhow here we go, the arm. The arm is woven, or the arms are woven, on a two and a half inch height between uh, gap between the lower and the upper combs of the Merrick Saffron loom, and uh, they're woven on a set of eight warp strands, and I use. I warp with two strands of yarn held together and the um, I start by making a slip knot and pulling the slip knot up then placing it onto a peg on the lower part of the on the lower edge and pulling up and and closing the gap. So that gives me one, two warp strands. Even though I'm working with two strands of yarn held together, um, I still call it one warp strand. And, which is probably confusing as I'll get out. Sorry about that, but there you have it. Okay, so two, four, six, and one more set of pegs. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to, oh, I was taking one strand from inside the ball and one strand from outside the ball. Now the weaving is going to be done with just one of the strands of yarn. So what I'm going to do is weave the one of the uh, strands um, back and forth to just lock it in place and then I'm going to snip it off and the weaving will be done with just one of the strands of yarn. I'll just uh, Weaving the yarn in place doesn't bother the weaving at all. It just it's fine. No problemo. Okay, so I have just one strand of yarn coming off the ball now and now I'm going to take my shed stick, which is a small dowel that I put in the pencil sharpener. A knitting needle works great. Um, um, this is so such a narrow bit that you could even use a craft needle. Um, so I'm going to go under, over, under, over, across. Now the um, the techniques that are I'm using to weave the teddy bears are all in my book Innovative Weaving on the Frame Loom and this book is terrific. It's wonderful! It's marvelous! Buy it! You'll love it! Thank you! And um, even though it just uses um, the uh, shot looms, um, all the techniques do transfer to any and all frame looms. Okay, so now I'm going to grab my weaving hook and the um, the weaving is done by the first row will slip into that open shed created by the shed stick. And you're going to pull, ease a loop of yarn across to the right hand side from the left hand side. Now go over the ones you went under and under the ones you went over. And because it's so narrow you can just use the weaving hook to push the previous row into place. Fold the yarn over your finger and to make a loop 
and place that loop on your weaving hook. Bring it across. Now twist the weaving hook to take the yarn through that loop. Ease back on the weft and then that loop stays on your hook and your hook goes up into the shed for the next row, pivots down, pushes the previous row into place, gather the thread, put it on, bring it through and over, ease back and the next row is over, under, over, under, push it down gently into place. So this is how you're going to weave the tabby version, um, uh, the um, balanced weave. But if you want to have a teddy bear that you're using techniques that are like the tapestry techniques, then you're going to want to weave um, with the colors that you want the arms to be. And then probably you're going to change the, um, the weft to the paw color. And when you're doing the weft faced weaving, which is the tapestry weaving, you will be pushing your, you'll be pushing your weaving down so that you are completely covering the, um, the warp strands. So that is a good way of working if you have um, thin yarns that you want to use because you'll get, when you're using weft face weaving uh, or tapestry weave, you'll get a nice sturdy solid um, um, fabric because of pushing the weft strands down to cover the warp strands. Um, when you're using a tabby weave, like what I'm doing right now, having a thicker yarn is, um, is the way to go. So number four medium weight yarns are the ticket for this. And so you weave uh, using those two rows that I showed you up to the top of the loom. And the arm, um, the tabby arm, um, is the same from uh, both ends, but if I were doing a weft face um, arm, or, uh, or even a, just a weft face paw, I would weave two inches, because we, this is two and a half here, I would weave two inches and then weave the, um, the paw in a different color. But because this is all tabby weave, I'm going to pull that out. Uh, I'm just weaving in the one color. And so uh, because the um, because the weaving is moving along uh, and uh, to the top here, and there's just no more room to have the shed stick in there. That's why I pulled it out. So this will be my last row. And I will ease that through. And now I'm going to leave, give myself some um, boat, I don't know, 10, 12 inches to um, to have for uh, sewing the arm together. And I'm going to pop it off the loom. I haven't taken my, um, I haven't taken my um, hook out of the, um, out of the um, loop here. Now I could either thread this end in and pick up these loops um, with a needle or I can use the hook and go through and pick up these loops again. I like to uh, put that twist in so that I'm not unweaving that uh, last row. And so I'm just um, twisting to bring them through. 
and I bring them through and I pulled my hook all the way out so that the yarn is now going through and so I pull up and this yarn will now become the stitching yarn. So I'm going to just fold the arm in half lengthwise and I will pick up a stitch on, I'm going to sew across the gap, so I'm picking up a stitch across the gap and coming back towards myself, picking up the stitch on this side and working my way back and forth across the gap to stitch the arm together. When I finish stitching, I'm going to um, see how the arm has a nice little curve there. That is put into the arm after you stuff the arm. You pull up on this stitching strand. So the stitching is, whoops, pull that through there. Now this, you usually end up with this long loop at the end here. Um, take that strand through there again. And what I like to do is I give it a twist just to take it up somewhat. There we go, and I pull through. Now I'm going to grab a bit of stuffing and I'm going to use the eraser end of the pencil to push bits of stuffing down into the arm. Yeah, the eraser end uh, just works great because the eraser kind of grabs the, the stuffing quite nicely and it fits in there really well. I think that's enough. So now what I'm going to do is I will take these ends and push them inside as well to clean finish the end and grab the needle And I will thread, I don't need to thread both ends in, I'm going to, oh, I just need to make sure that this is the, will that pull up? Yes, that will. Do I need to use both strands? Okay, yeah, well, all right, I'll use both strands held together. And so I'm going to gather, so I'm pulling up to give a nice little bit of a curve there. So it just makes the arm curve nicely. And then I will stitch through the loops at the top of the arm here to close the arm. And then Use the yarn ends then to sew the um, the teddy bear's arm. Just admit that needs to be kind of pushed in there a bit. Um, and then I use the yarn ends to um, stitch the arm to the shoulder. There we go. And you can kind of give it a little bit of manipulation. So that's how the arms are made and then they get stitched on uh, uh, to the shoulders, whoops, 
yeah, there. They, they'll get stitched onto the shoulders of the bear. And that is shown in the uh, assembly video. My blog, TottyTalksCrafts.com, has a post that lists all of the links showing all the complete how-to videos so that you'll be able to weave all of the saffron loom bears as well as the tiny little hello loom bears. And as well, there um, are other links for things like how to weave, how to carve the weaving hook. Um, the full link for that precise page is in the text under the original YouTube um, post. And the um, if you just go to Toddy Talks Crafts and without that link, you can type into the search box um, whether you say teddy bears or um, summer weaving challenge 2022. It will bring up that page so that you'll have access to all of the information on how to weave all these wonderful bears, uh, these and so many more. So. That's where you'll find all the information you need. Happy weaving and enjoy every moment.